Today we're gonna to learn how to separate notes using sweeping grace notes. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and sharing with any other pipers you think might get something out of this. I also give Skype lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. In the description below, there's a link to the PDF I have right here of this exercise, so go ahead, print that out, or put it on a tablet, have it in front of you so you can follow along. In previous episodes of my basics series here, I have gone through how to separate notes using lifting grace notes and tapping grace notes, but there is one more way we can separate notes, and it's with sweeping motions. We tend to do this only with our thumb on the top, and our pinky on the bottom. Now, we can technically sweep or do lateral motions on some other notes, and there's some advanced pipe technique that's well beyond the scope of this series that will use some of that. But for our purposes right now, as we're learning the basics of this instrument, we're gonna be worrying about our thumb and our pinky. In line one, we're gonna start with the sweeping motion of our pinky. Now, eventually, these pinky sweeps become the basis of our burl, one of the classic embellishments of the pipes, and there's many styles of burl. Some of them involve a tap, some of them uh, involve a sweep back and forth, some of them involve a tap and a sweep. There's quite a few different styles. I have found, though, that learning how to sweep right now will start building up all the dexterity you need in your hand, so no matter how you approach your burl later, you're going to have, well, some dexterity in your hand you wouldn't otherwise have by learning how to sweep right now. So in this first line, all of the sweeps are gonna be in upward motion. So we're gonna start from below the hole and sweep up and across that hole right there. Up and across. And I'm keeping my finger relatively straight as I'm gonna be doing the motion. I just curled it back there so you could see the hole. We're gonna start with a G grace note. We're gonna sweep up three times. We're gonna then do another G grace note three times. And we're gonna do that four times total. So let's give it a try. I have a metronome set here at 80, and I'm using the Soundbrenner Wearable Core metronome. I will have a review up there of my thoughts on this particular thing, but it's pretty cool. I can both hear the metronome here, and I can feel it on my wrist. So anyways, let's go ahead and try line one of this exercise. There's a repeat written there, so if you want to practice this even more, you're welcome to do so. Now in line two, we're going to do the same basic idea, but now we're going to be sweeping down across the hole, starting from above the hole and sweeping down and across it. Same idea, the downbeat on the one is going to be a G grace note, and they're gonna sweep down across that low G to separate that A into four parts. Let's do it. Now, if you find when you're doing this, you're getting and you're finding these fingers sliding off the hole, it's likely that you're pressing down too hard. As I'm brushing across this hole, it's this the lightest sweep of a motion. It's not a scrape. I'm not scraping the hole. I don't want to even really feel like the pockmark or the pothole of the hole. I want to just barely feel it under my finger. It's about separating the air that's coming out, not about really kind of digging in. So the lighter you can make that motion, the more successful you will be in having successful sweeping motions. I also have videos on finger stretches and exercises that can go a long way to getting your hand ready for these sweeping motions. If you find that it's too tight to do this, there'll be a link up here to that video, Stretch Your Fingers, one of my Command Your Bagpipe videos. So check that out if you're finding that you're having any issues with that pinky kind of moving independently of the ring finger, or if you find that ring finger is the one that's starting to slide around, that video might really help. For line three, we're gonna combine both the upward and the downward sweep. We're gonna come in with a G grace note on the low A, we're gonna sweep up, and then we're gonna sweep down. We're gonna do that twice slowly, and then we're gonna do it twice, twice as quickly, um, and then one more time slowly. This is a method I use in a lot of my exercises where I try to approach it slowly, so you wanna make sure your metronome is set at a speed where those first two are perfect. You don't want any errors in those. And then when they're twice as quick, it's okay if they're a little messy. Obviously, we wanna get them clean, and then we're gonna do one more slowly, and that one again should be perfect. If you find that the slow ones are not quite dialed in, go ahead and slow that metronome down enough so that you're really getting it right where you need the tempo to be 
to be successful with this. If you find even the fast ones are super clean, well, good on you, that's awesome. I'd go ahead and maybe speed that metronome up and see how fast you can get it before the fast ones start kind of falling apart. This is the basis of a future embellishment and will be eventually played quite a bit more quickly. Not really worried about speed right now, but if you want to give yourself a challenge and you're finding this to be relatively easy, I'd say go for it. All right, let's try line three. <laughs> So there's a lot of different sweeps with your pinky. Now, let's move on to your thumb. The thumb tends to be a lot easier for folks than the pinky, and I mean, come on, it's your thumb. It should be fairly easy. Now, it can be a little bit more challenging when you have the bag under your arm, but for now, we're not worrying about that. We're just on our practice channel. And you can see I have an arrow showing the direction that we're gonna be sweeping. Most of these sweeps are going to be in a downward direction, to be honest, I don't really have a preference. I just noticed that with most of my students over the nearly 20 years I've been teaching now, almost everyone sweeps down. I actually tend to sweep up more often than not in my own playing, but I'm okay being the outlier and I'm not trying to say uh, I'm correct in sweeping up. Again, I'm not sure it really matters. It's whichever is most comfortable. But you notice in the second two bars here, I do have arrows going both directions. This is for what's becoming a more common embellishment in some more advanced music, but we might as well start getting it under control with our finger. So we're gonna actually, with that one, come in on that high A, we're gonna actually start with an upward sweep, downward sweep, and then another upward sweep so we can get the rhythm that's written right here. So let's go ahead and try this. And again, feel free to repeat it as many times as you need so that you can get that motion good and clean. All right, everyone, there's some basic exercises that eat your sweeping motions, both your pinky and your top thumb, ready to separate notes in a third different style that we're going to apply mainly to future embellishments, but there will be some other times we'll be using some of these. In the next video, we're going to be applying the lifting, tapping, and sweeping grace notes to a few different tunes so we can start exercising them in a more musical capacity than just simple scales. So stay tuned for that. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you got something out of the video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, sharing with any other pipers in your life, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a long way to helping support the channel. So you're welcome to check that out. The information's on the screen here. I'd love to have you uh, join that community. If you want a more personalized instruction, I do give Skype lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.mattpiper.com or email me at the email you see below there and we'll get you going. I'm working with people from all over the planet and I hope to get to work with you soon. All right, everybody. I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper and until next time, cheers. Cheers.